Hello neighbors, welcome back. I'm Steven and today we're looking at this gear crate for your Yakima Mod storage systems. Now if you're not familiar, the Yakima Mod storage system is just simply a modular uh, storage system comprised of different boxes, much like the gear crate here in front of me. They also have some boxes without lids that can fold down flat, unzip in the middle and fold down flat. And they also have nice hard boxes with some drawer systems as well. And you can pretty much interchange those, mix and match as needed for extra storage space and organization in the rear of your vehicle. Well, what we're looking at here today, again, is the gear craft. Now, it does have very nice front and rear anchor attachment points. So this first one here, you get this long, heavy-duty plastic piece. You would bolt this down to the top of your Yakima Mod system. There's a little plastic guy here. You would simply rotate this up, and it would fold down and lock that into place. And that would be secured, so you wouldn't be able to slide it around, move it around, that kind of stuff. Now, the other guy on this side... It's got a nice little loop loop here. Let me zoom in. It's got a little S hook here. And it can either go into this loop that's on it, or if this guy here is attached, it's got a loop in it as well. So you could also loop that in there. And again, this being secured to the base of that other mod system, it would hold up very nicely. So why I got it zoomed in here, all the other hardware, the Allen key, those four screws, and those four spacer blocks, those come with the kit as well. Now going to the top of this, it has a very nice heavy duty thermal form lid, and that's gonna ensure a very reliable protection for the gear that's inside. You can stack stuff on top of it. It's nice, heavy duty, rigid. It's got elastic bands on top. Maybe you wanna slide in some tubes of blueprints or skis or whatever, whatever you can fit under here. It's got a pretty nice different uh, elasticity. You can tighten that here to make it smaller if you need to. Now going to the lid, there's four corners that have these elastic uh, bungees on them. So you would simply take those off, off those hooks in all four corners. And then the lid, that nice thermal form lid, that's gonna come off. So you can see it's heavy duty, it's rigid very very durable I'm gonna sit that down here on the side for now and I want to kind of show you what all you could potentially fit in this box so keep in mind I've just got some stuff here that I had lying around I got my sanitary wipes got my nice ball got my reading material and I had a shipment that arrived from e-trailer today so I went ahead and threw that in there as well So that'll give you kind of an idea of how much stuff you could fit in here. You could fit way more than this in here. I mean, this box alone, quite honestly, you could probably fit four of those in here easily. Now, as far as some dimensions, while I'm zoomed back out, this guy is 30 inches long, 16 inches wide, side to side, and it's 11 inches tall. Now, it does have a nice divider built in inside this guy. So this divider is actually held in place by hook and loop, and you simply unhook that. It's got the hook and loop on both sides here. You can actually put this at the halfway part, or you could put it further back at like the one third part, and that would give you different options as well inside. Now, the corners on this guy, they are a very nice heavy duty thermal plastic, and you can see that hook there I was talking about. That's where that elastic cord from the uh, lid would attach to. But these corners are like a two-piece. They're sandwiched together over the side of this, so that makes a very nice, sturdy, rigid corner there. And again, the hook and loop just simply goes in place at any point you want to put it. Put your gear back inside. My reading material. My ball for the trailer mount. And we're putting the lid back on. And again, once you get the lid back on, you simply pull all those elastic corners and latch them into place. So very, very versatile box. It also has four handles, one on each side of the box. Very nice design. It also has a couple of stitched in loops on the sides. That way, if you want to tie down more additional things or some more tie down points, you have that versatility as well. Well, folks, that's going to do it for our look today at this gear crate for your Yakima Mod storage system. I'm Steve with eTrailer.com. I hope this information has been helpful. Have fun out there while you're traveling. Keep your gear stored safe.